Kokoa, Joe's Naked Camels, and Topoi Kuchaim. <laughs> I, I try to say the name as much as possible or as often as possible. <laughs> <You know. laughs> Naked Camels. How dare you? That's porn. Okay. Um, <laughs> the map is Meatballs, version 2. And again, uh, it's Will playing as Spanish. They have a Viking's pocket, exactly. again, Kokoa Joe. Same sifts as like, uh, in the match before. Match. Yeah. 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 Gonna be interesting. And Mayans for Pnu Hanau something. Okay, so let's take a look at TK. Uh, Kurt playing as Hans and Teal. The pocket player is Scheuss as Mayans. And skill pack as Vikings in yellow here. So that is Vikings against Spanish and Mayans against Huns. Um, I think um, CJ and C will be really happy with this map because I expect um, the Viking to be slingy again. It has worked well for them in the first match or the match before. And yeah, where the Viking was a flank, and here Viking pocket slinging. The pocket even yeah, more. That is it's what you want. Better, I mean. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. The other guys have uh, Mayan as as mm -hmm. pocket. Yep. I'm looking at choice at the moment. He has gold and stone, pretty close to the TC. That is nice. Deer also, just a few tiles, so easy to push. Indeed, nice map for, for orange. Yeah. Teal, for example. Deer are further. Wood is, is really bad. Yeah. Yeah. Let's take a look at for yellow. green as well. For green as well, the, the deer. Mm. Yeah. Yep, they're Not further. Great, but they, they're fine, but I mean... More or less, they'll be fine. Mm -hmm. But the best, like you said, orange. Orange, very nice deer. And not too many obstacles, you know, in the way of the of those deers. Because, mm -hmm. as, as you know, those deers behave really crazy when they are close to forest or some other resources yeah. like gold, stone, you know. Yeah. Actually, I just I thought of something. Guys, if you use Facebook, type in RTS leak, RTS space leak, and follow them because honestly, um, they have been around forever, and they're doing a great job promoting every single game. So yeah, if you want to stay up to date, follow them. Okay, um, let's check Blue's map maybe. Mm, deer oh, yeah. also further. Wood, well, bad is normal, I guess, on, on meatballs. The dock is okay. Now let's check the docks maybe for the players. No docks for the Viking yet, that is interesting. Ah, uh, look at, look at uh, yellow, man. If he mm -hmm. could go uh, that uh, kill or whatever you want to call it, on the right side, poo, would, would have been great, man. Would have been great. More to the right. Yep. You see, a lot of deep fish for him there. On that corner. Yep. I'm looking at it. But again, with the scout in Dark Age, you don't get much line of sight, so... Um, true, true. Yeah. He could have... No, I think even if he scouted the complete shore, there is no way to see that. So we cannot blame no, him. No, no, no. It was just a lucky guess. Mm -hmm. To go exactly there, I mean. <laughs> but you're right, I mean, Viking without without dock at this point really mm -hmm. ah, now he's, he's building he's okay. getting one and it's a very good oh, spot he has you know, four big I fish is it perfect for him yeah it's, yeah it's three sorry 
Yeah, but still a very good spot. Yeah, very good, very good one indeed. He has, uh, he has another good spot not far away from the the scout, as you can see. Also, three mm. deep fish there. Yep, one, two, corner. three. Yes. Yep. So, Mr. Coco Joe, nice, nice dog. Well done. Show them noobs how to how to do it properly. Do it. Meatballs. <laughs> Looks like Tato is is really like uh, really likes this map. <laughs> I okay. try to I try to remember his opponent. Uh, the last time I saw Tato on meatballs, was it MBL? Or who was it? I don't know. I don't know. Oh. Tato knows how to play this map. Yeah, yeah. So, why don't you join us, Mr. Roberto? Come on. An expert is always welcome. To co-cast. So, if you have some free time, you can say something about this map. What's the usual strategies? What they can do? Well, let's let's try to do some better casting here. <laughs> uh, let's go to Kokojo and see if he's slinging already. Nope. Um, he will go up to Dark Age. Sorry, from Dark Age to Feudal now. He just clicked. Yeah. Um. Then Yellow green. Okay. Skill pack. Range. Yep. Sixty now. Yes. Teal, still Dark Age, just getting Loom, he has the food, so he will be up. Let's compare that to green, 25%, and who's missing? Blue, that is Will. Okay, Spanish, 45%. Looking at the middle, hmm, some gold in the east, towards the west, yeah, one in the middle, and two in the far west, so, yeah, as always, the middle is so important, and it is also about wood on this map. Um, you have to leave your island to get wood, so if, if one flank makes a move, and walls or gets map control somehow um, that's gonna be a problem you need to transport over and and uh, get access to more wood yep <coughs> the wood is just so little in the starting island enough you know to do a few fishing ships and that's it, you have to go to transport. I'm watching who's going to Castle Age. Fast will. Good resources. Missing the buildings, but yeah, he's already with the market and the blacksmith up and he has yeah. everything. Yeah, mm -hmm. he just clicked. <laughs> yep. Okay, let's check his opponent then, skill pack. Um, he's nowhere near 400 food, oh. zero gold. What is his plan exactly? Uh, he's fishing on shore fish. He has one ship on big fish. Okay, now he's moving. Uh, sending two vills to um, shore <coughs> fish. Um, it really looks like his, his Dark Age build order was some improvisation and he <laughs> yeah. he doesn't manage to click up to castle now well you know that there, there are some maps with with some specific build order to to maximize to to be yeah. more efficient and uh, this is uh, yeah, well, one of them with so few resources <laughs> in the starting islands yeah yeah well most maps have standard resources right eight sheep two boars ber berries and so on um, 
And here, this is a non-standard map, and maybe, yeah, uh, some players get thrown off by that. Um, me, for example. <laughs> if, if I don't get standard resources, um, maybe I can still, like, keep my villagers busy and stuff, but um, the, the build order will be bad, because I don't know what to do, so... Uh. <laughs> Looks like... M uh, melons hyping in the chat. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> One guy started the melon. <laughs> Give us the melon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's crazy, man. <laughs> okay. Orange is Castling. transporting. Yep. Castle for yeah, orange, and he's transporting castle over. Age. And immediate castle drop. Man. Yep. Plumed arches for him. But actually, it's funny. Look where he's building the the castle. Yes, he's you building. To transport, man. <laughs> yes, actually, there is an island in front of Orange's yes. base. Yes. Um, but but that is maybe not even bad. Um, he's building it as a defensive castle anyway, uh, and well, it's easy to defend an island of your own. So, well, it's it's not terrible. But he probably thought. Um, the land would be connected here in the middle, yeah. And it's the same, it's the same for um, C, J and C. They have basically a private island here. And the middle area is, is really narrow because of these rivers. Lots of flaring going on from orange, he's just indicating the forests and the gold. Any move from... Uh, oh yes, forward castle from blue at the edge of uh, yellow's water. Interesting one. Green, as he transported over, yes, to the back. There's a town center, second TC, yes. And sending more and more villas. So green going towards the back, playing it defensive. While teal is um, on the middle area and getting two stables. Oh wait, four stables, what? Yes, well, I think I think the map is really, really different than what they uh, expected. Uh, Teal must yeah. have must have expected uh, a standard map where he can just run around with scouts. Let's go to his point of view, Kurt. Um, has he scouted anything at all? Nope. Well, but let me let me follow the shoreline and check check the very east of the map. There is like one tile yeah. of forests and shore where the scouts can run through. So if, if green uh. doesn't wall that... Ooh, yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. Yeah, then, then Teal can just run in. I think he will, he will, yeah. he will send to, to do Te that. Teal found the first conquistador. Knight hitting the conk now. And he's not going for scouts. Blimey, he is in castle age now and pumping knights. Uh, let's go to his yeah, point yeah. of view. Well, we are. He's getting a sling. He's getting a sling from uh, the Viking player. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I missed that. Jesus. Um, so, a strong sling if he wants to pump from four stables. Yep. And he is, man. He's keep making, yeah. Knights, knights, knights. Yeah. Any upgrades plus two armor. Whoa. That's strong. Yep, it's done already. Plus two knights with bloodlines. So even a castle firing will not stop these knights, if you ask me. Whoa. He will destroy that TC. Yep. Pretty sure. But why not? Ah, he's coming. Yeah, yeah. He's sending a forward build uh, to build a siege workshop. Mm -hmm, yeah, here. He will, he, will, uh, he will destroy, he will attempt to destroy the castle. That's, that's for sure. 
and still receiving especially gold with the food he's at the limit you know he needs some more uh, food sling he's losing he's losing still i mean though yeah. he's losing quite a lot of a lot of knights go rams man go rams and he is three rams will come out 69 yeah. population for him now 72 keep yeah. pumping knights and yeah. now there is a backup coming from orange with um plume dodgers so i think uh, no matter what happens um blue will lose almost blue. everything here maybe he can save the conks save some vills but yeah no he will lose oh, ground. Look at this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, whatever happens to the units, he will lose ground. That is for sure. Indeed. Uh, let's check <coughs> Red. Red is Kokoa Joe. And he is slinging to Will. Will is the player in blue. Uh, so that is, yep. that is not great at all. The player who is receiving a sling can only produce from one castle. Um, he's against two, yeah. though, you know. He is against two. I'm not blaming him. Yeah. Yeah. It's not easy. Okay, but where where are they going? Ah, uh, to see if Blue has some other base. I mean, some other town center. You know. Very nice wall there from Blue. You see. One tile of yeah. stone wall keeps him perfectly safe. And green did the same in the east, he noticed. Two tiles of stone wall secures him a lot of space on the map. So this is how how meatballs works. And again, if you look in the corners, either in corners or not that far away from corners, you have the gold, man. Gold, mm. stone. True. Rams, rams are hitting the houses. Okay. Four rams in total for for teal. Yeah, which is keep scouting with with the knights. He wants to see if blue has some other town centers on that island. But I I don't think it's a good idea to leave those rams without any protection. Mm. He's he's losing time basically. To just to bring the knights back yeah. would take another minute, and in this minute, blue can stabilize. He should, exactly. if you ask me, he should not have left this this area. He could have killed blue or pushed him away from there at least. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. When he was having the upper hand and also with uh, Orange joining the fight, if he could continue the push with the Rams into the castle, yeah, I think he he, he had big chances of uh, destroying the castle. Mm -hmm. But like you said, going away just gave time for, for Blue a lot of conquistadors now from him because obviously he's uh, receiving uh, resources, he's getting slung, right? Yeah. Anyway, look at the resources for for Teal. He has everything to go imp already. True, um, 2k food, 1k gold. But um, same will. Same will. Yes, well, they're both being slung. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you know what? I think the, the main players will decide this game. Because both Orange and Green, they have all the time in the world. They don't spend their time with my crewing army they're building nice economies and mayan economies so yeah highest score in the game um is well sorry for um the cj and c team is green um so green is having a nice boom and um we can only hope for the nice tk team, team that orange can keep up because it's Mayans booming against Mayans booming, and Green is doing yeah. better here. Well, Will is on the way to Imperial. The same is uh, Green, like you said, the Mayan. 
already 45%. Ooh, but look, just a few pruned archers transported by orange into green space. Oh Getting yeah. A few wheels. Here they are. Yeah. It's running that corner. into the wrong direction. Where is he going? He could be walled in now. <laughs> Anyway, I'm not sure this was a good choice. I mean, they tried something, but look at look at uh, yellow. Yellow still in feudal age, and if the sling fails, they will ha they will have problems, man. That's true. Yeah, the team, all of them are in castle mm -hmm. or on the way to imp, yep. while yellow. Yeah. Yeah. Red. Red is uh, the slinger, and he is in castle age and booming. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> we will see in the achievements the the difference in sling. It's better yeah. castle age sling than than feudal age. I think there is a point in time, up to twenty five minutes for sure, maybe even thirty. A feudal sling is stronger, but after that, um, uh, the yeah. perfect castle sling uh, becomes stronger over time. Okay, Teal is going Cavaliers, now he's 31%, 35, Cavaliers, while Will is going Elite Conquistadors, 30%, man, and he has a lot, really a lot, Forward Siege Workshops for him, okay. and going Rams, yep. And, uh, and Green will also join the party, look at him transported wheels and adding now a lot of barracks yep he will go elite eagles that's seven barracks yeah Phew, a lot a lot of them will have eight barracks actually and red keeps slinging yep red keeps slinging mr coco joe okay big slinging. fight Big fight. Yeah. Cavaliers moving Ooh, in yeah, against Cavaliers. the Conquistadors. Plus four defense. No, the, the Cavs are strong, man. The Cavs are, are really, really strong. Yeah. Still plus four defense on the Conquistadors as well. They have yeah. 18 attack and six range. And now Green will lose the, the building villagers. Let's see what Green is doing with these barracks. Um, Eagle Warriors Going for now. Eagles. Yep. I think he added one spearman by mistake, so it's Eagles. Forward workshop coming Why, up from Teal. Teal? Yeah. Teal? Oh, look at Teal, man. Almost 50% Paladins. But I let, let's see if he will be able to take down two. Mm -hmm. He will be against two. Oh, not completely. Uh, because for him, Orange, now in Imperial Age, also coming to build barracks. So it's gonna be two, 2v2. Two two. Gonna see Elite Eagles with yeah. Conquistadors against future Paladins with uh, uh, Eagles, Elite Eagles. Yeah. And do you see these few cavaliers for Teal running uh, around in the back? He denied yeah. the wall, he killed um, the villagers there. Uh, but there nice. is an, another wall. So they are trapped between two, <laughs> I two see. stone yeah, walls. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Paladins, paladins. Paladin upgrade done, yes. Green Eagles moving in, Eldorado, plus four attack, plus four defense. Ooh. So, fully upgraded, I guess. Oh, yeah. Ooh, and it's a and lot. It's going straight into Teal's base, man, to, yeah. to destroy his economy. And from the other side, Conquistadors are coming. Yeah. Let's see if Orange will be fast yeah. enough to also make a lot of yeah. eagles and and again you know what i think is more important uh he will kill orange or he push orange off from this island um because blue already has halves to deal with the the paladins and it will be more halves 
Uh, so the eagles, uh, or the amount of eagles, will really decide uh, the battle here. And True. Green has way more than orange. Green was flooding into the economy. He will lose the first few eagles, but it doesn't matter um, because blue is pushing and adding more and more hearts. So they're distracting teal actually. Yeah, yeah. But Sen, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, come forward with the helps. Yep, like he he's is. doing now. Okay, let's see now if if Orange will be able to gather. Mm. And now Maybe. green green is adding pikes. That is that is not great coordination. If blue already has halves with plus four defense, then green why why should he get halves or well, pikemen still? He should really get eagles and and siege rams. Yep. Orange adding more and more barracks, so it, it looks like Orange um, is gonna keep up here with, with green. Okay, now a lot of halves in the game. The Conquistadors are too far away. I don't know, they're not doing too much damage at the moment. A very, very good fight for TK at the moment. Now the Kongs are moving in. Yep. And indeed, I think even though Green is going halves, mm -hmm. better, better, I mean better. We are just, uh, you know, casting the games, but why he switched to, to halves, man? Doesn't doesn't make much sense to me if, if blue already has the help upgrade and four barracks he could add more. The paladins with the support from Elite Eagles will be yeah. so strong. And they have Eldorado, they have plus four defense, uh, yeah. nine plus one attack, so could be more upgraded, but yeah, the important upgrades are there. It's, it's a melee unit, so not a ranged unit, uh, so you want the defense upgrade first, and HP upgrades are great as well. Attack can come last here for melee units. Still, still pushing though, still pushing though, at least for now. Like I said, let's see if Orange will, will be able to to come with more and more ingles and mm -hmm. I, I I think that they also need to add siege units. They need to add siege units. I have a suspicion. Um, yeah. well, green green does have gold, so the gold is not the problem. He could get more eagles if you wanted to. Hmm. Let's check orange. Does orange have enough gold? Sure he's he's on a low gold count. Let's check yeah, he, he does have uh, access to gold there, and they they started trading. It might not be super efficient because it's it is narrow. Whoa. It is on only two tiles, yeah. but yeah, they do have trade. <laughs> um, Indeed, you're uh, right. The American uh, team is also preparing trade for markets for green, and in the other corner. Uh, don't see any red markets. Will, will, will do. Uh, yeah, yes, th there are two villages. Mm -hmm. Here he yeah. is. Yep. Okay, yeah. so they will have trade soon. Ooh. So many units on, on the field. From teal. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. are. They are. They needed to yeah. to add siege units instead. Uh, the naked camels are are going with siege units, siege yep. ramps, and as you can see, this helps really, really a lot. Yeah. 
Okay, seems that uh, Yellow is preparing to, to join the party also. Arbalest and Rams. Uh, he will go Siege Rams as well and will attack uh, Blue from the back. Okay, let's see if uh, Teal and Orange will be able to hold until Yellow joins the party. While from the other team, Coco Joe, yeah, seems that he's still uh, slinging, right? No mm -hmm. military unit, nothing yep. else. Yep. Yeah, from him. Nothing to see from um, from the Vikings players at all. Yeah, just slinging. Okay. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Arbalest, yeah. Arbalest from Yellow. Have you seen it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, like I said, in Cap Rams. Yeah. So sorry. Sorry. From yellow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, I, I thought you were talking about both. So red is not doing anything, and only yellow no, no, is no. adding. Okay. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Red will join the party and will attack Will from from the back. And I said, if let, let's see if uh, orange and teal will hold until uh, yellow is joining the party. Mm, red. Red looks like he needs uh, still time he is still walling so he's still defensive while yellow yeah. is is moving in now uh, if he waits a little he needs to pull these archers back I think bring more siege rams well, he will see the castles yeah yep. he will see the castles oh oh don't sacrifice yellow yeah going back now no Question from the chat, yes, this is minute 49. Yeah. Sorry, Katsune, go ahead. No, it, it seemed to me that uh, Yellow didn't have... Uh, Siege, yes. Come on, man. Ah, I'm tired. Uh, to fire with accuracy, man, how it's called, oh my god. Ballistics. Ballistics, man. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, he lost so many archers there. This is what I meant. Or again, like siege rams are not only there to destroy buildings, but they help in, in battles as well. With some siege rams here, all the eagles would have been distracted. But like this, complete slaughter. Yellow lost everything there. <laughs> yeah, and like. You know, th this is this is why I like to be precise. You don't call it Drush FC, you call it Drush Wall FC. The walls are crucial. And here the same. The, the combo is not called Arbales, the, the or like the, the army. It's called Arbalests and Siege Rams. That's what you do with Vikings. Don't, don't yeah. attack with Vikings if you have less than 6 or 8 Siege Rams. You need them. Oh yeah. Okay, um, where to look, where to look, in the middle. In the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> A blue is pushing further and further. Green might bring more, now that uh, yellow got cleared there. Okay, seems that uh, green is going you now left side to fight with... Uh, with yellow. Yellow is switching to standard infantry. He has only long swords for now. He's adding more barracks. Will go champions probably. If he has enough time. So not only they are holding, you know, a will and a green player, they are they are even pushing. Let's compare the team score, uh, 12,500 against 9,400, so a good advantage for CJ and C at the moment. Yep. From Coco Joe, right? Naked Camels. Such a name, man. Such a name. Oh, I see the name Croatia on the chat. My parents uh, love Croatia and when I was a child we went to Croatia like seven times or eight times 
I and later on I went to Croatia myself uh, once or twice. I love Croatia. Back to the game, sorry. I just had to say that. Strong push, man. Strong push now from, from Blue with the help of, of Red in the right side with Siege Rams. They, they are pushing more and more till back. And in the left side, like I said, let's see if uh, Yellow will be able. But he is. He is already with two handed swords and most likely will go champions. Let's put his point of view and check. Two handed. I don't see the champion making. No, he doesn't have resources wait, enough. Wait, who who should get champion? Yellow. Yellow. Mm -hmm. Viking. Yeah. To fight with with green. Yeah. Yep. Well, we fighting, fighting, this. defending, <laughs> rather. The the yeah. real the real fight is happening now in the in the I was about to say Middle East. Does that sound bad? Well, <laughs> 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 well in the middle of the map towards the east. Yes. And um <laughs> and um and, and yellow is far from the action. He he can't really change <laughs> the game at the moment. Uh, blue is, is yeah. pushing. He's killing everything from teal at the moment. Orange, where's orange? Uh, he, he lost everything there, I think, on, on the yeah, middle he island. Lost everything, man. Yeah. yeah, he lost all the all the barracks. It's, uh, surprising that he didn't rebuild. Your man, man, just rebuild and and go back. I mean, uh, he's he's living alone to fight against. To, well. Uh, Maybe, maybe yellow said, "Okay, it's uh, it's better chances for me to to fight green with champions." And now you go in sling. I don't know, but still surprising. <laughs> they are laughing already, man. Well, at least at, le <laughs> at, at, at least I noticed immediately I was saying something stupid, so uh, that, that's better than not <laughs> noticing at all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> true that. <laughs> but it sounds really funny. Let's Come take on. a look at yellow, maybe. Oh, champions, champions in few mm -hmm. seconds. Yep, here oh, it yellow. is. There he is. And will destroy now greens. Green should be uh, the one to, to to run back and go with the plumed archers. Actually, yeah, he's running back. While Teal on the other side in the Middle East, he's still tr str struggling to to survive, to stay alive. But look, look now, blue coming with a lot of siege rams. I don't think that Till will be able to stop this. And if Till will lose that castle and everything yeah. there, I don't know, but maybe we're gonna see the GG call. I wanna I wanna see it now. Siege units eleven. Eleven siege units for Ooh. Will. For Will. Oh! And even more! He's also going with paladins, switching to paladins. So yeah, how here to are the stables. Now, man. Yeah, yeah, strong play, man. This is truly their whole map playing it. I'm not saying perfectly, but yeah, they do have the team strategy, you know. Nice push, nice push. Oh, we have red in Imperial, but go me. Oh, look at look at red building, uh, building docks in the other team side. Oh, they will increase the pressure, man. Yeah. Yeah. They they can if they control also they will take control of the water. It will be easy for them to to kill the trade. And not only the trade to destroy a lot of buildings and increase the pressure. 
Yeah. And these galleys could sail down all the way to the trade, you know, at this narrow yes. spot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. To kill the trade unit. Yeah. Units, but I mean. look at that. Blue has has reached uh, the eastern side of the map and yeah cleared everything really and now the siege rams are going for the stone walls they will push on the eastern flank uh <laughs> yes you avoid <laughs> yeah no no more no more yeah. middle east discussions no more yeah. no more no more okie dokie so what they can do what they can do really now galleons for Coco Joe for Red Player and look at Will transporting mm -hmm. where transporting over yeah yeah I'm curious where maybe to the trade get the transport well, yeah go tell me tell me where trade. tell me where the transport is <laughs> uh, near between Orange and the island look 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 going going straight to the trade straight to the trade L like two three o'clock. With plumed archers, he transported plumed archers from green player. You see him in the trade, and the galleons for, for red are also there, killing all the trade. Oh yeah, I see it now. Yeah, yeah, I see it now. Yeah. Red galleons, yeah. green plumes, there killing villagers, killing bye -bye. trade. Yeah. Trade, yep. everything. No. This is how you kill vampires. True. <laughs> no, there is nothing, nothing to do. Better team play, man. Like I said, you can see they really prepared for, for, for their whole map, for this uh, particular map. Good strategy. They know exactly what to do. And out of trade, the other team will be... Huh, how to continue, man. Yeah. They already deleted the markets, so... It is... Also, the time is important. One hour, five minutes, the gold on the map is um, uh, running out uh, sooner or later. Yeah. And uh, actually, trade is, is super efficient now. Um, so, yeah, killing the trade. Every single trade card is 50 gold and it gets you 120 gold per per route. So, it just, <laughs> just do the maths, how much gold uh the tk team lost here in this area but actually look at the other guys trade it's too narrow the space man the the, the cards they just don't cross you see no jam, no way trade jam, no way oh look at look at all those cards it's it's a traffic jam <laughs> literally so they need to cut that forest mongol Nobody is with any Mongol. No, it's not. <laughs> why not? This is why a Mongol is good. <laughs> See Johnagers and that that small forest, and that's it. The trade yeah. can go. Well, Red is adding another uh, lumber camp to cut the forest down faster, but but still, he should focus on and the trees and in well towards the water and not. Yeah, true, true. There, but well, honestly, let's let's follow let's the see. army again. Blue has pushed through in the very east. He is Even in more. with yeah. paladins and kongs. And uh, yeah. is there anything to protect Teal? Nope. And GG was without called. Without gold, without trade, how yeah. can you stay? How can you fight against those super strong units? Yeah. Maybe you, you can defend for a few more minutes, but you just can't hold forever with only trash yeah. units. You can't. And um, I'm also no looking at yellow. Yellow was still in the same area. Um, yeah. I also think you have to think more about ground and um, yeah, space, you know, map control. And, yeah. and yellow was all the time busy at the same spot he did not gain any ground while blue was pushing from uh let's say the middle completely towards the east and and gained everything there and yellow always in the same spot and yeah yeah that's it also the water very very smart move from from red 
From red. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Killing the traitor. Okay, oh, I could be. Well, first score. I always forget. This is um the one to one, and well, this is uh, the beauty of home maps. I think uh, if if these players were maybe playing all full random maps, then I think TK would be stronger. But look at this, the naked camels. Uh, they have a whole map, they have prepared it really well. And I think the second time today, they have beat n on average stronger team just because they have a good home map, they have prepared a nice strategy and they take two points. That is like uh, winning um, an entire match. Yeah, so they know how to play it. Good job. Indeed, better better team playing this in their home map. Yes, maybe compare the slings. Forty six thousand six hundred from red and yellow. Actually, very very weird. Only nine thousand. Why was yellow not doing <laughs> stuff earlier if he was not slinging know. so much? True, true. Or or send the resources. You know, keep the mm. other guys. With, with military, with army in the game. Uh, like you said, when Orange was, uh, was taken out, it seemed that uh, he, didn't, he didn't come back at all to support Teal, man. He just left Teal alone, and it, it was even easier for Blue, uh, switching also to Paladins, to push him, and not only push, just destroying him in that area, and letting Green uh, deal with, uh, with Yellow. Yellow, which never crossed that area of the map again. He was stuck in that corner. Yeah. As you like to say, Katsuni, um, this is the story of this match. Yep. Um, 